Hi, this is Ryan, CEO of KHB Construction. We have been doing kitchen remodels in the Modesto location since we were founded. We were based in Modesto, we are local to Modesto, and that is our bread and butter working in Modesto, California, doing kitchen remodels. With that said, we have came across multiple scenarios and very different style homes throughout Modesto, from the oldest of homes to new track developments where the homeowner has an issue in their kitchen and they call us to solve it. In Modesto, there are homes ranging from early 1900s to newer 2020 and 2022 homes. Now, whether you're in that older home or newer home, we have had experience remodeling them. So whether you're College District, downtown Modesto, in that older era of homes, or Northside Modesto, Pellendale, Kiernan area of the newer developments, we have done remodels in both situations. And I wanna to talk to you about the costs associated with both situations, as well as some of the criteria that you should be looking for in your contractor, whether you're in that older home or that newer home in Modesto. In Modesto, there is a wide array of contracting companies you can choose for your next remodel. While there are a lot of contracting companies in Modesto, not all of them are fit for your specific project. Now there's contractors here that won't touch a home unless it's a newer home, you know, 1970s or so or newer. There's also contractors here that have never experienced a home in 1910 or 1920 and all the issues that that home may bring in a remodel. So when you're searching for the right contractor in Modesto to do your kitchen remodel, take your home's age in consideration. And if it's an older home, that should be one of your pre-qualifying questions to your contractor to say, hey, my home's 1915 Victorian College District. Do you have anything that you've done in this area that you could show me? I kind of put my mind at ease because I know my home has some issues. It's an older home. It's going to be kind of a pain to remodel. Use that to your advantage when vetting contractors. If you're in a newer home in Modesto, let's say 2015 or newer in that area, think about why you're remodeling. Now, if you're in a newer home, your kitchen's probably fine, right? But there's probably some aspects of that kitchen you want to update or make your own. Whether that be updating the solid surface and appliances or repainting the kitchen cabinets, there are a lot of things you can do in that newer kitchen to put your vision into life and make it authentic to how you want your home to look. Now, with that said, oftentimes we have found homeowners with a newer home that are remodeling have a certain taste and they want their kitchen to reflect a certain type of quality of life that they represent. Whether that is a $30,000 appliance set, custom cabinets throughout, new flooring throughout the home, it can snowball really quickly. But make sure when you are contacting your contractor, you give him a clear representation of what you're looking for in your vision. So if this is just a simple new solid surface, new paint job, state that plainly. Because if I walk into a new kitchen, a 2015 or newer, I'm thinking, okay, this person has a perfectly fine home, perfectly fine kitchen, and they're remodeling. They either want to spend a bunch of money in this place to make it their own, or they get really bored really fast, you know? So make sure you're letting your contractor know, hey, we don't want to spend a bunch of money here. We just want to repaint resurface the solid surface and backsplash or let them know hey i have a certain quality of life i want to represent i want to make this thing bougie you know i want the top of the line appliances top of the line natural stone custom cabinets the whole nine yards because that's how i want to live my life so make that very clear with your contractor when you're in a newer home so we don't have any pre-notions of what you might want. So in these two examples of your home in Modesto, whether it's an older home or a newer home, there are inherited costs with both of those situations. A like-for-like -like kitchen remodel in a home that's in from 1910 and a home that's from 2010 is gonna be quite significant in cost difference. The older home is gonna be more expensive. One, because if this is an exact like-for-like -like 1910s home, we are dealing with Nava Tube Electrical. We are dealing with lath and plaster walls. We're also dealing with most likely a damaged or beat up subfloor that is not level because it has been there for over hundred years. <laughs> um, we're dealing with old. We're dealing with the old, old, old construction methods. Now a 2010 home, I can almost guarantee most of the time, unless it's a full custom home, if it's on a semi-custom track, it is on a slab. It is also all Romex, so it's updated electrical. All the components to that 
home are relatively modern construction. So we don't have any curve balls that, you know, we're gonna be like, wow, I didn't think that was in the wall. It's a lot more straightforward. So we could estimate it more clearly. Now with a 1910 home, that is where a lot of the issues come in. Like, wow, didn't know they were doing that back in 1910 for to brace this load bearing wall. Didn't know that, you know, all of these girders are rotted out and we need to replace the whole subfloor system. There's a lot more unknowns in that older home compared to a newer home, which will have higher cost due to the unknowns of that 1910 home compared to the 2010 home. So when you're going into your remodel in Modesto, be realistic with the budget. If you're in an older home, I would expect to spend at least 10 to 20% more than you would spend on a more modern kitchen remodel. Another piece of criteria to think about when you're remodeling your kitchen in Modesto is, is this a forever home or is this more a five to 15 year home? We call this a transitionary kitchen or a forever kitchen. And there are different costs that are incurred with which one you choose. Now on the transitionary kitchen, you're staying here five to 15 years. Maybe your kids are going through school after they graduate. That's when you're going to your forever home. Whatever your situation may look like, we are trying to keep the aesthetics true to what you want, but we're not trying to break the bank, right? We want the highest ROI on this transitionary kitchen. So when you sell, you see that money back. You recoup some of that investment. This may look like paint grade cabinets, but still having all the nice features of a custom high-end stain grade cabinet set, uh, like soft close features, storage features, like a Kessa bomber, uh, spice rack organizer, things of that nature. Appliance package is probably gonna be middle of the road to Home Depot-ish package, you know, 4,500 to 8,500, somewhere in there. Uh, solid surface most likely is gonna be a, a grade three to two slab, so around $1,200 to $1,800 slab not a $5,000 to $10,000 slab. Plumbing fixtures, same thing, middle of the road. So with this transitionary kitchen, we're looking at around 55,000 to start up to 85,000. 85,000 would have uh, some more features in there and would be a larger kitchen. 55,000 would be a smaller kitchen. Both of these kitchens would have new custom cabinets, just not some of the features of the forever home. So now let's talk about the forever kitchen. This is the last remodel you're ever gonna do in this kitchen. And it's gonna be a little bit bougie, but it's gonna be future-proofed, right? So this kitchen is gonna have stain grade and paint grade combination of cabinets, all hardwood throughout on the construction, soft close everything, new hardware on the interior, new storage, Kessa Bomber spice racks, sheet organizers. The whole nine is going into this custom cabinet set because we want to make it as functional for you and how you use your kitchen. This will have a moderate to upscale appliance package. So I would say a $8,500 to $18,500 package in appliances, as well as upscale solid surface backsplash and plumbing fixtures. This will also be moving locations in the kitchen. So this will be reorganizing the kitchen to how you use it every single day and how you want to use it every single day for the rest of your life. Whether that is, I want my fridge in this location, I want my sink in this location, and my cooking area in this location, we could lay things out and maneuver the home to best serve you and how you use it, make it more functional overall. This kitchen, starting off at 85, I would say. Typically, our average forever home kitchen comes out to around 120 to 140,000 depending on the size of the kitchen. And we've also done kitchens for over 200,000. It really comes down to your selections and your taste at that point. But you can expect to spend around 85,000 or more on this forever home kitchen. So to recap there, 55,000, 85,000 for a transitionary kitchen and then a custom forever home kitchen, 85,000 or more depending on your taste. In both examples of these kitchens, there are things that you should stay away from. And that would be in the transitionary side, non-uniform appliance sizes. So in this transitionary kitchen, I want the fridge location to be a standard opening, right? Because you're doing a cheaper fridge. If you sell the home, the fridge breaks, you need to replace that fridge. You want something that can like for like swap in that location without having to manipulate the cabinet size in width or height. Same thing with the dishwasher, same thing with the sink location. All of that stuff needs to be a standard size just so you don't have to spend more money down the road if one of those things goes out. On the custom forever home kitchen side, some things you should avoid 
are things that are gonna date the kitchen. So this should be a set style. So whether that's Phoenician, mid-century modern, farmhouse, traditional, whatever it may be, stick to a style and leave it. Something that is timeless, it's not gonna age itself, it's gonna be a forever proofed kitchen. Appliance wise, if you're getting the higher end cabinet set here, you're most likely gonna have built-in locations for high-end appliances. Now, just like in the transitionary kitchen, appliances will fail at some point. Now, if you're going with a higher end appliance package, you're gonna have a higher end service. So you'll actually have a, you'll have a warranty from us, KHB, as well as the provider of that cabinet, the vendor. So you have a vendor warranty, a contractor warranty, and a manufacturing warranty. So make sure that you're protecting yourself and you file all of those warranties so you, when you do have a claim in the future, you can be protected. Other thing in Forever Home, there's not really many rules in the Forever Home kitchen space. If you got the money, spend it. It's your last remodel. It should be exactly what you want. You should be in love with it. On the other hand, the transitionary kitchen, you want the highest ROI on this kitchen while still keeping the integrity of why you're renovating. The aesthetics and function should still meet what you want. With any kitchen remodel, whether you're in Modesto, California or in New York, you need to know what to ask your contractor to make sure that he is a properly vetted candidate to do your kitchen remodel. So some of these things might be, what type of references do you have that's comparable to my project? Uh, that's a very safe question to ask and that contractor, if reputable, should have a long line of happy customers to refer back to you, to put your mind at ease in going with that contractor. Secondly, having some Finish photos of the style of kitchen you're looking for. And this could be, you know, maybe you want a contemporary kitchen, but this contractor really only does farmhouse, right? Or rustic, and that's his specialty. Now, you can dip in different designs, but just make sure that this contractor you're talking to has had experience in the finishes you're looking at doing. If you're looking to do a $150,000 kitchen, make sure this isn't a $20,000 kitchen type of contractor. Third point I would go over as a consumer is talk about process. You want to know what the 30,000 foot view is from start to finish of your renovation life, right? You're going to be married to this contractor for probably at least four to six weeks at a minimum. And you want to make sure that you know communication is always going to be there. Timelines will be met. And if something happens, what happens next? You know, if there's something unforeseen in this 1910 wall, what does a change order look like? What's the process for a change order? You wanna have full transparency with this contractor and asking them, what's the 30,000 foot view? What is your process? That is a good qualifying question to see if this is an organized professional type of contracting company or if they're kind of just flying by the seat of their pants. So ask them, what's the 30,000 foot view? What is your process? What does success look like in this renovation for us working together? Now that we've talked a little bit about, you know, price point, what that's your contractor, kind of the parameters of your kitchen remodel in Modesto, I do want to talk a little bit about our company, KHB Construction, and what we have to bring to the table in your kitchen remodel. So what sets KHB apart from most contractors is that we are a legitimate company. We have designated salespeople, designated designers, an operational team, a field team. We have the people in places to serve you the best, to have the most efficient kitchen remodel in Modesto. There's really no other competition for what we do as far as custom goes in our kitchens. And our process is proven to really handhold the customer from start to finish and designing and executing a fully custom kitchen. And when I talk about a custom kitchen, this might look like, you know, taking out load bearing walls, um, reorganizing how the kitchen is laid out, uh, moving appliance locations, but we're not talking about a like-for-like -like kitchen remodel. We're talking about a full-scale forever kitchen. Now, and also in the transitionary kitchens where we are going back more like-for-like, -like, we are built highly efficient for that as well. Um, that's a faster timeline. The same process applies from start to finish. You have your designer, you have your salesperson, you have your operational team really working for you behind the scenes to make sure that it is the most efficient kitchen remodel in Modesto. So to give you the 30,000 foot view of our process at KHB, it really starts through our website. And that's gonna be something that you can click below or up top or beside me. There's gonna be a button somewhere for you to move forward and fill out our form. And that's step one. 
So you fill out the form, you hop on a phone call with either myself or one of our sales team. We pre-qualify you to make sure that we're gonna be the best contractor to fit your needs. And if we're not, we will refer you out to other contractors in the area that might fit your timeline, budget, or quality of work that you're looking for. If we are a good fit, we will set up an on-site consult. So at this on-site consult, we go through really your vision, timeline, budget, once again, we scan your home um, in 3D BIM technology, and we export that into our computer so we can walk through your home when we're at the office for a very, very accurate estimate. From that point, we set up the proposal and we present the hard cost for your kitchen, no dollar left untouched. So when I say this, that proposal, the end all be all price tag is the end all be all price tag. We do not do change orders. We do not lowball to get in the door and then raise the price once we sign a contract. We are very, very transparent in our pricing. So that is the bottom dollar on our proposal. Once that is signed, we move forward with design. That includes 3D renderings, a full set of construction documents for our guys in the field, uh, material sourcing, personal shopping, samples being delivered to your home for approval, cabinet walk, solid surface walk. There's a lot that goes into the design phase and that's probably the most exciting part for the homeowners we work with. And once design is signed off, usually within six to eight weeks, we start the project. And then from the start to the finish, typically four to six weeks for a like for light kitchen, six weeks plus for a custom kitchen. And at the end of that project, we meet up, we go through, we sign off on the COC, which enacts your warranty. The warranty information is all taken care of in our pre-construction process before you even start. So you'll know what is protected, how to enact that warranty contractually, and how to request a warranty claim once the job is finished. So all of that gets taken care of pre-construction. So that is the 30,000 foot view of how we take care of our customers at KHB Construction. If this sounds like something that you want to experience and you really want the value that we bring to the table, I would really encourage you to fill out the form. You'll get a phone call. We could talk about your vision. We could set up an onsite consult and we can bring your dream kitchen to life.